Hey friends, Lara here with Cox Homestead and today I'm going to go over caring for your rabbits in the cooler winter months. Now, it's not necessarily a cool winter day here. We are still in fall, but last week we had freezing temps. In fact, we had a day in October with a high in the 40s, which is rather low for us here. Uh, we had our earliest frost on record that I recall um, since I've been gardening and homesteading. So we are thinking ahead and preparing already now for what we'll be doing for the winter months. Last year, I made the best decision I've made in keeping rabbits so far. And that is I went to Roll King and bought heated waterers. They were a game changer. Let me just tell you, instead of having to come out two to three times a day to make sure my rabbits had water, all I had to do was spend $25, no, 20 bucks, I think I got them for 20 bucks, plug those bad boys in and they had water all winter long. It was amazing, great investment. Uh, remember time is money and money is time. So it is a huge time saver to invest in those heated waters. I will leave a link to them down below. Um, this is the Amazon link. They are $25 on there. Uh, Rule King was selling them for 20, not for sure if they still have them or what their um, stock is on those at the moment. But they do work well. Ours lasted all season and a lot of them we've used even throughout the summer and they're still going strong and I'm doing a good job with no leaks or anything like that. The only thing I don't love about those heated waterers is you can't get your hand in there to clean them so you will need a bottle brush to clean them. Um, if you uh, need to regularly clean them, uh, it might be a pain, but if you keep that cap shut, they'll stay pretty clean on their own. All right, that is the number one thing you need to think about investing in come what winter for your rabbits. Um, rabbits are wearing a winter coat. They are actually fair, they fare better in the winter months than they do in the summer months. Uh, they get really, really hot in the heat of the summer and you have to worry about them overheating. In the winter, as long as they are um, dry and out of the wind, they are good to go. So my encouragement for wintertime rabbitries is to make sure you have wind protection on at least three sides. And if you're in really, really cold climates, you might need wind protection on all four sides. Our rabbits live in the barn, so they have wind protection on all four sides. We do have two windows in their room that we will cover up with uh, plexiglass for the winter months. There is some air that still comes through because it's wooden slats, so it's not a tight spot. There is still ventilation because you still need some airflow um, around them for their well-being. Um, otherwise, rabbits are pretty much built for winter time. Um, they, I kindle, I, I mean, I breed all winter long. My rabbits are kindling in the winter. You do have a higher chance of losing kits uh, due to the cold weather, especially if they get out of the nest box. Um, but we still have had great success kindling all through winter. It's easier on them than in the heat of the summer in our heat down here in the south. It is important that your rabbits do not run out of food or water in the winter. So uh, make sure you're keeping them well fed and well hydrated. Um, obviously you don't want to overfeed them. That it will do damage too, but you don't want them to go without days of food and water. So you do have to make sure you're going out at least once a day to care for those little buns and uh, make sure that they are still dry and not getting wet. So that's about it for caring for your rabbits in the winter months. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Uh, some ideas if your rabbit cages are outside or your hutches are outside. I've seen people use tarps to wrap their cage in a tarp uh, for wind protection or to hang some tarps around. Just be mindful that whatever you use can and will get urinated on. So um, maybe avoid wood if you can. Um, also wood is a great spot for ear mites to uh, live. So avoiding as much wood as you can directly touching their, their cage or their wire. Um, think about something a little bit off of it, maybe a foot off of the cage um, for that wind protection. And in the meantime, eat more rabbit. <music>
Test, test, test. This is a test. Whoop, a test. Whoop, whoop, a test. Did you need to walk through? Yeah, okay. Okay. Well, I'm taking a break to think about if there's anything else I'm gonna say. And it makes me nervous just having you stand there. Just right. Look at this cute little bunny. This little bunny is uh, five weeks old today. They'll be six weeks old next week and they'll go out on pasture. This is a buck and he has quite unique fur. I really, really like his fur. He has curly whiskers. I don't know if it'll show up. Let me see. You see those little whiskers? Man, this camera's good. They're a little bit curly. I don't know if you can see quite all those details.